Hello friends and family. This last week we've been speaking about the fruit of the spirit and one thing we've learned is that fruit is born out of nature. It's what we are made out of and made for. If you are desiring a nice, juicy, wholesome apple, where you'll find it is an apple tree. And so the same is for us as believers, is that if we desire the fruit of the Spirit, we have to go back to the root, and that is the Spirit of God living within you. And that is what you are made out of. And so what I'll be sharing with you today is the fruit of joy and peace. Joy and peace are like two peas in a pod. They are married to each other. In Isaiah 55 verse 12, it says, You'll go out in joy and be led forth in peace. These two are interconnected to each other where you cannot experience the one without the other. That they are made and that they are functioning together. And so if we were to do a pH test of the kingdom of God, the substances you'll find is righteousness, peace, and joy. And so in Romans 14 verse 17, it says, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of rules about food and drink, but is in the realm of the Holy Spirit, filled with righteousness, peace, and joy. Peace and joy is the air we breathe in the kingdom of God. What you'll find in the kingdom of God is peace and joy. That is what we are made for, and that is our experience in the kingdom. And so Jesus, he was faced with many things in this life. However, he remained in this bubble. When he went through all that he went through, he kept a constant state of peace and a constant state of joy. It never left him and it never left his sight. And so we can do the same, that while storms are raging we can sleep in the stern of the boat while it's raining on the outside we can sing with our hearts and so my encouragement to you is choose joy choose peace it's what we are made out of and it's what we are made for and it's who we are in christ always remember you are highly favored and deeply loved